There we go, that's better lighting. I just recorded a video a minute ago and I looked orange. Um, and it's not October yet. Uh, so good morning guys, it is Monday morning. Um, it's 7.05 and I feel so good. I just feel ugh, like a tremendous weight has been lifted off of me, which also by the way, I weighed 192 on the scale. So that is 8.6 weight loss from yesterday, which was Sunday, my official weigh-in date. You're not supposed to be counting calories when you're following the page four food list, but um, I am still going to be putting it in my fitness pal just because I'm curious like what my satiety levels are going to be, like how much I'm actually eating, but I'm not gonna worry about it. What I like about this diet is that it's very freeing. You're not a slave to the kitchen. You don't have to cook. You don't even really have to meal prep if you don't want to. I went ahead and boiled some eggs. And so I'm just gonna peel these eggs and I think I'm gonna pack a salad for lunch. I'm now going to be starting this new thing where I don't have coffee first thing in the morning. I'm gonna make myself wait until after nine o'clock in the morning to have coffee, maybe even my lunch hour. Because as I read over the weekend, um, cortisol levels are at its peak between eight o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm gonna bring my supplies to make my coffee, but not actually drink it until later on today. Okay guys, so this is the quick lunch and this is actually going to be my for my coffee. So this is a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream with a tablespoon of one of my pumpkin um, Jordan skinny syrups. And that I'm gonna have my coffee probably around 10 o'clock this morning. This is lunch, so this is two cups of spinach. In this little container right here, I have one tablespoon of blue cheese dressing. I'm gonna have some cheese wisps. Those are gonna be on top of the salad. And then for my protein, this is, an, this is a serving kind of sort of, I didn't actually measure it out, of the blackened chicken. And um, I put it in this container because I like to warm it up first and then chop it up and put it in my salad. And then for, so that's like the main salad. And then for other little snackies, I have a Baby Bell cheese. I have a serving of Chipotle flavored pork rinds. And then I have two eggs, hard boiled eggs. And if I don't have room, if I'm full, I'm gonna stop when I'm satiated. I don't have to eat all of this. Hi guys, it is Monday evening and we are going to have hamburgers tonight but first I'm going to be cooking up some bacon and I prefer cooking it in the oven that way it can collect the bacon fat and then I store it in a little container in the fridge so I can use it to cook you know my eggs in other meats in whatever yeah so this is how I cook my bacon I just this is the thick cut I just got from um, Costco and then I just put it all on a cookie sheet. And actually what happens is like here, I have several pieces that aren't gonna fit. I don't care, so I'll kind of like smash them in together. I don't really care if they're not laid out perfectly because they kind of shrink up in the oven anyways. So. Okay. Got like two more pieces that need to fit on here. Last one's gonna hang on the end like that. Okay, then we're gonna have hamburgers for dinner. Um, I just snacked on some of my beef jerky because I was starting to feel a little hungry. Not starving, but a little hungry. Tonight I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start off with one hamburger, one ounce of cheese, one of those little guacamole cups. Oh, and then I was gonna try those new um, dill pickle spears. So that will be dinner and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, the bacon is done. This is how I like it. I actually ended up cooking it more than 20 minutes. I put it back in for five minutes. It still wasn't done, so I put it back in for another three. So we're looking at 28 minutes total in order to get it this crispiness. And when I pulled it out before putting it back in for the additional five minutes, I went ahead and spread it out a little bit because remember I stuck them kind of stacked on each other. And so now they're just cooling a little bit and I will collect the bacon fat from it in a little bit. Hi guys, 
it is Tuesday and I'm actually going to have a lot of free time to be doing some videos lately. Um, some changes were made at work, so I work in the health field. There have been some changes on how we get reimbursed and so my hours have been cut back. So today I worked four hours. Anyhow, in the meantime, I will have some more time to be able to show my full day of eating where I'm actually at home and having lunch at home versus packing it to go. Today I got a package and this is not endorsed. I buy all these things myself. I'm not a large enough YouTuber yet to get free stuff. If you'd like to send me free stuff, I'm willing to take free stuff, but um, not on that level yet. I ordered these products last week. Oh my lord. They're so tiny. Oh my lord. They're so tiny. I mean, I knew they were tiny when I bought them, but seeing them in real life, they're so tiny. Okay, so this is F-Bomb. Fat is smart fuel. Um, so I ordered two of them because I last week I was making some fat bombs for my 200 grams of fat challenge and I needed some more friendly nut butters that didn't have as many carbs so then that way I could use it for my fat bombs. So I decided to look online and a lot of them still have like six or seven grams for a serving. So I decided to check out the F-bomb one. So we have macadamia pecan with sea salt. So it doesn't want to, there we go. So the macros on this, it's 202 calories. So this is for a two tablespoon serving. Um, 21 total fat, uh, four carbohydrates, dietary fiber is three. So they're saying, you know, be one net carb. If you count net carbs, I don't. Protein is two grams. There you have it. This one actually is a mixture of pecan and macadamia nut butters. So this one sounded pretty good to me. Why not? Love macadamia nut. The other one here, salted chocolate macadamia. Oh, it just sounded like heaven. So, um, this one, the macros is calories are 210. The fat is 22 grams of fat. Carbohydrates, again, only four grams with three grams of dietary fiber. You're looking at one net carb if you count net carbs. Um, and the ingredients is just dry roasted macadamia nuts, organic dark chocolate, unsweetened chocolate, cane syrup, there is cane syrup in her, uh, co cocoa powder, not cacao, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, vanilla, sea salt. So the ingredients sound pretty clean. Um, right now I'm doing the Dr. Westman food list diet. So I won't be able to try these out just yet. I mean, if I make the decision to, I can do it because the bottom line for the whole idea of even doing the Dr. Westman food list is to keep it at 20 grams of carbs. If I have room, I could try it, um, but I'm thinking I might just hold off on these until the end of my 30 days doing this. So there you go. So we got some F-bombs. I might end up having to try these before 30 days, but sounds good. I think I'm just gonna do something quick. So I got these beef snack sticks. They have to be refrigerated. I got these from Costco um, and I'm thinking about digging into one. So let's see. It's one carbohydrate for one, but I think I'm gonna eat two of these for lunch. I'm dying to try my manchego cheese. I'm also really digging these pickles that I got from Costco. So I think I'm gonna have go ahead and have two pickle spears and maybe some pork rinds with this. Yeah, no veggies. I'm not gonna eat any veggies. Tonight, I know I have no idea what I'm gonna have for dinner yet. I haven't really defrosted anything. I do have that bacon that I cooked up yesterday, so I think I might just end up making some kind of egg scramble um, and eating avocado with it. Don't know yet. That's what I like about this. Just do what you want. Here is lunch. Those are the two dill pickle spears. This is two of those beef sticks. Two ounces of my manchego cheese and sparkling water. And 
I might have some pork rinds with this when I'm done. We'll see. So I actually was not able to finish my entire lunch and so I didn't even get the pork rinds because I'm full. This is such a weird feeling for me to feel full because last week when I did the 200 grams of fat challenge, I felt like I was not getting enough protein and I was starving and yet here I can't even finish my protein. Keto is a wonderful, weird thing. All right guys, I will see you later on this evening when I decide what it is I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna just, you know, put this in the fridge because I'm sure I will come back to this. It's two o'clock right now, maybe another hour or so, I might be hungry and feel like I can eat the rest of this. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. This could be magical.